A Leicester academic who was tasked with inquiring into the Leicester riots has now stepped down from that inquiry and this follows a strong wave of criticism from Hindu groups over the appointment of this academic, Dr. Chris Allen, who studies hate crimes and particularly Islamophobia at Leicester University. This criticism of the appointment followed uh, Dr. Chris Allen's known remarks and his known views on the subject of religious tensions and particularly in relation to the rioting that took place in Leicester, which reached a peak on September the 17th, leading to clashes and repeated violence. The win for the Hindu groups has been hailed by some groups but could well be short-lived because Peter Salisbury has said that he will look to substitute Allen with another person who will lead an inquiry. And now this is leading to fresh concern because the very selection of Chris Allen in the first place would indicate a level of prejudice coming from Peter Salisbury and that has been confirmed by his remarks following Chris Allen's decision. He said that he had been distressed by what he calls online abuse. That is how he describes the criticism from Hindu groups against that selection of Chris Allen and his appointment to lead that inquiry earlier. There is now a widespread concern and growing concern about any inquiry. A lot of Hindu groups have demanded an inquiry and following that demand, a group of 180 Hindu organizations wrote to the Prime Minister to demand a full and impartial inquiry. An inquiry is what Hindu groups want, but not this kind of inquiry of the kind that Peter Salisbury had instituted and of the kind he possibly could again. This is now leading to a great deal of concern because Hindu groups say the facts point to a degree of violence and an extent of violence against them that has not been seen before. They want the facts to come out. They have conducted their own inquiry and they have unearthed facts with documentation and evidence. They want to put that before a full inquiry, but they want this to be a credible and independent inquiry.